Hey gang, Bison here. I know it's uh, been a while and uh, long overdue for a little more discussion of my uh, bug out bag. Showed you the video on this big boy, uh, the Everly Stock and the Tactical Tailor Pack uh, several years ago in several installments. And, you know, during that time period, different place in my life, um, things were uh, calmer professionally and uh, personally and you know I had the ability to have this all set up and I did uh, take it out once or twice a week and go on some extended hikes but uh, it is extremely heavy and I have seen all the positive and negative and insulting and sarcastic <laughs> comments uh, over the last couple years about this big boy um, and I finally come to the conclusion um, that you know I'm not on my own anymore I am very happily married and this was you know for one man for never coming home so basically now things have changed um, I keep a lot of preps at, at a separate location now and pretty much this bag is going to be ripped apart the bag and all its pouches I'm going to put on eBay and a lot of the contents uh, that I'm going to refine and have duplicates and triplicates of I'm going to put into a, a different bag, which I'll show you all in a quick second. Um, it's not the final, uh, excuse me, the final product, but it's going to be the bag and the stuff will go in. And then once I refine it and figure out what I need to keep in it, um, I'll show everyone. Now, the, the bag that I'm going to show you when I put all the refined items and only necessary items in it, um, Excuse me, once I get all the necessary and refined items into the new bag, that bag is going to be strictly for getting me to my prep location or getting me home from wherever I am. Just the bare necessities, very lightweight and, and discreet and nondescript. So as everybody, a lot of the comments were, and you're all absolutely correct, as cool and awesome and badass as this whole setup is, I may as well just paint a big bullseye on myself because I'm a target. I'll get taken down quick and it'll be stolen. <laughs> so, uh, you know, in a situation, people go nuts, you know, because I've been watching, you know, the news and following everything the last few months and things are really getting crazy. And when you think about it, unless you're in a real remote area where you have miles of woods to escape to and hide and kind of, you know, be on foot when you're not seen, this is a bullseye. You know, a lot of my stuff is in you know, cities and towns that are extremely populated and there's really, really nowhere to go, uh, you know. Some, a lot of good locations are like very, very far away and to get there on foot or by car is, you know, not a reality anymore. You know, I don't live in the areas like they do in The Walking Dead where you got hundreds of miles of woods and you can hide and escape and not be detected. But anyway, I got to face the reality of my uh, geographical situation and, uh, current life so this will be dismantled all the like I said the bag tackle tailor bag and the Everly stock bag and all its pouches and some other pouches that aren't here will be on eBay a lot of the contents that do not end up in my new bag which I'll show you in a second uh, um, will be put back on YouTube and we'll have a contest for uh, subscribers Keep it posted on that. So moving this aside for right now. It's still heavy. It doesn't feel as heavy as it uh, used to feel. Maybe it got stronger or I just got used to it. I don't know. Anyway, I had this old Victorinox backpack. It's a hiking pack from, uh, my God, probably the early uh, late 90s I bought it. it. has an internal frame. I'll put a hydration system in it. It looks like here, average run of the mill, hiking pack, and I love this pack because it is OD in black, so, you know, you're not sticking out like a sore thumb with something super bright, but at the same time, it doesn't say that I'm Joe Tactical, take me down. So, it's a nice, decent size to get some clothing and a little shelter items, fire starting items, some water, all your basic stuff in there, and leave a little room for things you find along the way and uh, maybe some things for the wife. So uh, I'll get this set up at some point next couple weeks. 
and uh, we'll see uh, how it works out. You know, one of the other important items I may keep in here once it's set up, if I do have to hide in the woods or, or stash the bag, I'll keep a, I've got an old camouflage pack cover from, for an old school Alice pack from back in the day. I may keep that in here just to throw over it or a plain old black or I also have a multi-cam waterproof cover for it. So we'll see what happens. I'll uh, set it up and then I'll have uh, you gang give me your opinions and critiques and comments, which I uh, truly appreciate. I apologize for not responding constantly. I, I, you know, I barely have enough time to do all the emails and necessary things I need to do for my job. Uh, but I apologize for that. I do read them, and uh, usually somebody beats me to the punch with a response or a reply for me, so thank you for that. So, there we have it. We'll uh, get back to you at some point with an update of the new pack and the listing for this on eBay and other items that I'm going to have as a contest. Alright gang, thanks for watching. Bison out.